Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I am like 40 days away from taking step one, which is insane. When you see, when you guys see this video, I'll be like even less than that. So, Welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan. I am a rising second year medical student in New York City. And you guys may be wondering why is a second year medical student or rising second year medical student taking step one? Well, my school decided that we wanted to do a one year preclinical, whatever. I'm taking step one in like 40 days. So I just wanted, I've had like so many questions. I've been posting weekly updates on my Instagram and I just kind of wanted to share like what my plan is for studying. Disclaimer, I'm not taking step one yet. So I don't know if what I'm doing is gonna work. However, catch me like after October, 2023. I will let you guys know if I pass because I am gonna pass the exam. So there's no ifs, it's when. For those of you guys that are not as familiar to become a physician you have to take like usmle exams like i think it's united states medical licensing examiners whatever i'll put it on the screen um and you have to take there's three steps so step, step one step two there used to be like two parts of step two but now there's only step two c k which is clinical knowledge so a written exam and then step three don't know much about step two and step three because i am taking it one step at a time but step one is like an eight hour exam so like similar to the mcat that we took to get into medical school um so there are like eight sections and up to 40 questions each um i think sometimes it can vary because it depends on how many like experimental questions are in there because of course like not all of them count towards your grade and recently step one became pass fail um everybody thinks that it's a lot easier because all you all you have to do is pass can confirm while studying it is still very hard all right let's dive in to how i am studying so, so we covered like all of the organ systems during my first year of medical school however like I don't feel like super confident in medications because like we usually just had to know like the class like the class rather than like the actual different medication names so let's dive into what i'm doing so when people talk about step one a lot of times like you will hear this term called dedicated dedicated is basically like when you are not doing anything but studying for the exam like people do like eight to 12 hour days um usually like shouldn't have any classes any like clinical responses like your school should not like usually like you have nothing to do it's just study for the exam put in that time and take it i've heard everything from like three weeks of dedicated to like months it just kind of like depends on what you need um my school gave us four weeks of dedicated and my goal is to take like 19 days so we will see what happens that's like almost three weeks um and the reason i feel comfortable doing like almost three weeks or hopefully i'll feel comfortable doing almost three weeks is because i've done like a pre-dedicated phase so what i've heard from people that have taken the exam in the past is like most people will have like a year and a half preclinical or like a two-year preclinical so like you do your first year like just adjust to learning and then when you come back your second year you start using like outside resources or like boards prep resources and so you're kind of doing like a pre-dedicated like throughout your second year and so then you dive into dedicated um once it's like a couple of weeks before the exam with the one year preclinical like life was crazy like i literally like a year ago wasn't even a medical student so my timeline is just kind of all over the place we finished on june 30th and we had like a week i took a week of vacation we have eight weeks of summer research and four weeks of dedicated so what i've been doing over my eight weeks of research is doing like a pre-dedicated phase so during my pre-dedicated phase my goal is to kind of get through all of my content review per se um and so that just really includes doing things like i'm watching all the sketchy micro videos so watching like bacteria, parasites, fungi, all of that. Um, and also pathoma chapters one through three. So I think that's like neoplasia, cellular injury and inflammation. And then I am doing a little bit of practice questions. So using UWorld for practice questions. And as I'm doing UWorld, I'm doing like sketchy farm. So I'm like dedicating, like I've done like a week of renal and then I've done a week of cardio that's all i've done so far but um so like for my week of renal like the goal which you guys will see i haven't done it yet would be like to watch the sketchy farm videos associated and then also i'm going back to kind of like watching um osmosis as needed 
for topics that I'm like less familiar with. So like cardio I'm doing this week and like cardio hasn't been awful, but like Reno was so bad. Like I just felt like my foundation was not there at all. So I was like going back and watching like all the baseline videos and I'm using a combination of like Boards and Beyond um, and Osmosis for that, I think. And also looking, my school gave us like free Amboss. So I'm also looking at Amboss for like quick things because I really like all of their like explanations, um, charts and everything. I'm using Blueprint Med School Study Planner to make my schedule using Sketchy for Micro and Farm, Pathology, Pathoma, <laughs> chapters one through three, UWorld, and then supplementing as needed with Amboss and Osmosis and Boards and Beyond. The other resource before we dive into my schedule is this book. So it is Step 101 Strategies Technique Strategies and Techniques to Maximize Performance on USMLE Exam. Um, I've only read like three pages so far. However, I was gifted this book um, and so far like the three pages I read, super helpful. Um, so basically uh, there's overview of studying for USMLE exams, which I'm probably not gonna read because it's like too late. Um, six step method to the question approach. This is what I'm focusing on. I was reading it the other day and like the recommendation was to read like the last two sentences of the vignette first, um, which has been so helpful because like I'll find myself reading this like long vignette, like multiple sentences and I'm like, oh, this makes sense. Okay, I know this is like rheumatoid arthritis. And then the question is like, the patient has rheumatoid arthritis. How do you treat that? And so it's like, okay, so you wasted your brain power trying to rem like think about the fact that it was rheumatoid arthritis when they told you that. And then also like some questions are concrete questions or like first order questions, which means like, oh, like what is like a pregnancy related change in cardiac output, which is like, okay, increased cardiac output, I think don't quote me on that um and pregnancy which like I would have wasted my time like reading the vignette or like interpreting like the vignette when it was just a first order question so like a lot of them I'm still like going and reading the vignette but it just kind of helps me like read it quicker or kind of understand like what I'm supposed to get out of that so hopefully the other five methods to approaching questions will also be helpful 10 common pitfalls specific question constructs mindset advice for test day and final thoughts and so this is written by a PM&R resident. I will keep you guys updated to make sure that you're like, you know, I'll put like a little review in the description if I finish reading it by the time I upload this video. Not then make sure to check out my Instagram. I will share and let you guys know if I think that this book is worth it. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get visual. Let me show you guys my schedule. Alrighty guys, let's do this. So this is what Blueprint Med School Study Planner looks like when you pull it up. Um, my favorite thing is that it kind of has everything already preloaded. So you can pick like, oh, I want to do Pathoma. I want to do Sketching Micro, that kind of thing. And um, it will pull like all of the video names. You can organize it by system, by subject. Um, and then it has like the video length. You can also like adjust, like if you watch videos on 1.5X, then you can tell it that. And so it would say like the video is 22 minutes, but like at 1.5X or at 2X, it would only take you um, 11 minutes to watch it. So then it'll adjust your time for that. And then also like for the dopamine that I need in my brain, I think it's dopamine, not really sure. I really like that it just lets me like check off every single task that I'm doing instead of like, oh, okay, you're done for the day. Like, like no, like every single video. Um, and then there's also rebounds overdue. So like if anything is overdue, I can just rebalance and it will push everything, but keep it like still um, in the same order that I was gonna do it. So I don't feel like things are piling up. So that's really fun. I wanted to show you guys the calendar view so you guys could see what it looks like from like when I first started. So, you know, I did like my pre-dedicated. So finished school here and then I um, vacation. And then I kind of been doing right now, like two to three days of U World every week and then the other days with Sketchy Micro. So I'm done with Sketchy Micro now, which is awesome. So excited. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Now we're in August. And so this is this week. I've been doing Pathoma and U World. Um, and then next week I'll be doing U World, um, moving up to like every day, just like 20 questions. I'm gonna do pulmonary and my goal is also to watch like the CPK sketchy farm videos. So like ACE inhibitors and anti-arithmetics and whatever else I need to watch. And then I'll do my week of endocrine. So that's pretty much like my schedule. I love it. Also want to show you guys how I'm using Anki. 
so i get all these questions every time i post like what is this step one deck what is this deck so the only cards that i'm using right now is the onking deck i just kind of like made my own decks in here um and i have been like moving cards from the onking deck to these just so i can have everything a little bit more organized for peace of mind for my brain because i need like my brain to be in a certain way if that makes sense um so micro pathoma and then based on like the u world questions and i currently have a 30 day streak so i'm in my anki era right now two like anki hacks that i wanted to show you guys um so first of course like you know there's like the tag so if you want to pull the sketchy micro videos you can do that for u world every u world question has a question id and there are cards that are tagged based on u world question ids so if i miss a question let's just say i miss a question and I'm like okay it's on like cardiac output i could like search cardiac output but that would bring up so many cards but instead i can just say okay it was question like 135 and it has not all of them um and of course it wouldn't have like the question number i just like picked out of my head but like if it was 137 then i just would pick that question id and then it'll have like one to like 10 cards i'll move those um to the deck and so yeah that's what i've been doing so far and it's been good and then also they have the high yield tag. So for micro, pathoma, farm, like everything I'm just doing for like basic content review, I have been doing like high yield cards, relatively high yield, maybe high yield temporary. But then for you world, I'm just like not really caring about whether it's high yield or not. Like if I miss it and then I need to review it, that's Anki. And then everything else is just kind of like my Notion. You guys know that I love Notion. Um, so this just kind of helps me remember like what systems I'm gonna do um, each week. And then this is like any topics I need to review after I finish the week of reviewing that system. And then these are just like resources that I kind of compiled like before I was even um, studying. And then these are just like a list of videos and stuff just because like I just like to check it off multiple places and it makes me feel good and then also like when I make my study schedule at the end uh, I know like I like switch things around but like after I take step past it I want to like do a more detailed video on like what I did every single day what I thought worked what I thought didn't work that kind of stuff so I'm just like kind of tracking everything so that way I'll be able to share it with you guys so that was a little behind the scenes look at my schedule and then the last thing um you're probably wondering like hey morgan like everybody says first aid is the holy grail for like step like why have you not mentioned that as one of your resources so first aid does seem very amazing um as you can see mine is still very new um i got it through like the AMA membership or whatever um because you get like so many other benefits and it was like what like 10 bucks more I think that first aid is amazing um I think it's great like I've heard people that like annotate it during their <clears throat> first year of medical school so that way when you're studying for step you can just go back and look like y'all I bought highlighters like sticky notes like I just knew I was gonna use this thing um I'm just not like a book person because I'm usually studying on the go this is very heavy to take with me I was also supposed to get a spiral bound but like y'all we're like a month out from my exam like at that point it's just too late we're just gonna like go with it the thing is I use first aid in the sense of like if I do an Anki card there's usually like a first aid like thing that I can click and I can see like where it's mentioned in first aid and so that's really helpful in terms of like seeing the um acronyms that they use or different tables like this just happen to like flip to a micro page so it is very helpful i just am kind of using it like okay maybe i don't need to watch a full osmosis video there's just like one fact that i want to look at then i can just flip to it um and then that's pretty much it so i haven't been using it as like most people as much as most people um i've heard but like I think something that I've learned in medical school is like everybody's so different. Um, everybody studies differently and I really like have tried to use first aid during my first year and like I just think that questions and then watching like osmosis just like I'm a little bit more visual. Um, I think that's what I'm going to stick to so yeah. The one part of first aid that I do plan to use like during my last week of dedicated is the rapid reviews. There's actually an Anki deck two that's like first aid rapid review that are Anki cards made out of this but it basically just has like classic presentations for everything yes I did learn Fanconi syndrome so it's like okay um 
Where's Fanconi? Yeah, so polyuria, RTA, type 2 growth retardation, electrolyte imbalances, and hypophosphatemic rickets is Fanconi syndrome. So, which is like an issue with like the PCT um, in the kidney. So basically, it's, these are just like little things that like if you see these words, like this is like key for this like disease presentation. So I am going to use a rapid review, I think, at the end um, once I just have like a better foundation of stuff. But like right now, I just don't think like that's like where I'm going to put my time and energy into because it would just be like, I just want to use what I'm comfortable with. Um, no need to like fix something that's not broken. So I'm studying for step one mentally it has been very challenging um I think right now it's really hard because I'm also balancing like research like 40 hour re weeks with research and then trying to like study on top of that like probably three to four -ish hours a day um so I'm hoping and dedicated when like studying for step is my only focus it'll be much better um but we'll see like it's a hard exam regardless of whether it's fast fail regardless of whether you're studying for it alongside other things or studying alongside it you know like by itself or studying by yourself like yeah so i am going to send up all the prayers y'all send up all the prayers y'all send up all the good vibes for me um and september 20th 2023 we will be done with this thing thank y'all so much for tuning in learning a little bit about how i plan to study for step hopefully if like you're also trying to plan like this will be helpful and if you have any other perspective definitely let me know if you've already taken step please drop comments tips tricks advice and if you have any questions about anything at all um make sure to drop those and i will see you guys next time